Do you remember the Shire, Mr. Frodo? I've probably one of the biggest thrift hauls for you today. I went to Goodwill and my sister was also giving things to Goodwill, so I looked around and what she was getting rid of, of course, got like half of what she was getting rid of. I'm crazy. <laughs> we'll start with this cute little crochet top. Oh my gosh. I about lost it when I found it. I think it's so cute. And the back has adjustable buttons. Speaking of more adorable little tops, look at this little guy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a bralette or pajamas or just like a cropped tank top. I mean, it was super cute, only $3.99, so bam. This is super strange for me because I never buy like white clothes and I have two white tank tops in this haul. So I thought this one was really cute and I liked the draping in the front. I don't know, the fabric is <laughs> interesting. It feels like if skin is rough, it'll like pull the threads out. My sister found this one for me. I don't know if it'll fit because it's a small, but I could definitely thrift flip it into something. Two, come on, it's... <laughs> Which if you don't know by now, I'm obsessed. I had to get it. I'm super glad this shirt fits for one. And for two, I just want to make a statement about Goodwill dressing rooms that are gone. I understand why, but I'm salty about it. <laughs> because it would save me a lot of money. I knew what fit and didn't. This shirt's so small, and sometimes I can fit into a small, and other times I need a medium. Like, it's either no difference or the biggest difference in the world. Plus, I don't like trying stuff on in public. Like a jacket, whatever. But like a tighter fitting shirt. In a way, I know. <laughs> nope comment below if you agree. This is more of a fall ripped find. I love these layering tops because I can put literally whatever under them. If you want to do a t-shirt, a jumpsuit, a dress. Got one that's actually a bodysuit. I don't know what kind of what you would call this print. It looks like kind of snake print. Pointillism. I don't know. This last top my sister and I actually like fought over. Both saw this sweater and we were like Oh my god. So she ended up winning our little fight for it, but ended up getting rid of it. So I was like, I will snatch that right back. And I know you now you see it and it's like nothing special, but it was in the moment, okay? Looking back, I don't know why we fought over this. And it's super plain and has like no shape. It's not a vibe. It's just not. Moving on to bottoms, I was cracking up when I found these. Does anyone remember oh, the Mortal Instrument? City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Well, these are pants by Trip NYC. They have the little symbol that they draw. I'm still cracking up. I didn't think they made anything for this series. This corduroy maxi skirt, super cute, and it has all these cute ruffles at the bottom. You don't know by now, I am, I mean, corduroy, I don't even know how else to put it. <laughs> I love corduroy. This is just a plain black silky skirt that I gave to my sisters and years and years ago. I'm not really sure if she even wore it. The things that come back to us, right? Last in the bottoms is these layer pants, light wash and layered, say less for dresses. So the dresses I have in my closet right now are more for occasions, fancier outings that I never go to. So I needed a couple more just casual sundresses. I have this one and it's originally from Urban Outfitters and had the original tags on it, which is just bonkers to me. I'm trying to experiment with more yellows. So I think this will be a perfect way to do it. We have this paisley print slip dress that also came new with tags that of course I took off because I'm impatient and can't wait. And I love dresses like this for summer even as a darker print because they're so lightweight and it's sweaty buddy right here so this is perfect to get that air flowing. <laughs> Next we have this really cute free people dress. Kind of this like boho almost patchwork print and the bottom is this gorgeous floral print. And I do like the brighter colors. I think I don't quite like this style of dress on me. It's more of like a baby doll length. So I think I'm gonna turn it into a skirt and maybe bralette top. This one 
is from my sister and I just really love the floral color. I think that Coralie salmon is just so beautiful and perfect for summer. Again, it's got that really cute little ruffle at the bottom and I've been kind of living for that if you can't tell. Continuing the very long saga of things my sister and I fight over. She found this in the dresses. It's a green jumpsuit and we've both been looking for one for forever and this was in her cart <laughs> most of our thrifting trip until she found like a bunch of Pyrex with lids. So it kind of evened us out and I convinced her to give it to me. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. <laughs> I also have this vintage swimsuit, which I did get for my sister and she got it from our great grandma. I wore it, I believe in the seventies or the eighties. I don't know what it is about the Goodwill that I go to, but they always have airy swimsuits like they at least have one every time I go and I found this super cute one it's got this adorable like star pattern with the blue and the top has these cute little ties in the back what I also found this airy one as well and I love the print on it it's so cute and I really love that they're both high-waisted because that's just so much more comfortable and flattering on me I think. As far as accessories go, my sister and I also love finding little vintage purses and gloves. They didn't have like little purses this time, but I did find a pair of opera gloves, which I don't have and I've been looking for. Do you need to replace the little pearl details? Because with some of the older ones, you'll have like the ones that are kind of coated or painted and then it flakes off like the one in the middle so that's a really easy fix my sister found a really cute pink pair that I'm going to clean up for her because they just have a couple little stains on the fingers nothing a little vinegar and baking soda shouldn't be able to fix if any of you watching like to sell don't skip the cheap fabric section ever because you never know what you're gonna find times it will be vintage fabric there cute little floral design and i think it'd make the cutest little pajama set i'm still dying over this next find i think it's been my best one yet i'm not sure what to call this fabric i think it's i think it's from the 70s it feels like kind of a poly sweat to death in it kind of blend look at that look how beautiful it is and it's almost it together I don't know it's it's amazing this one was right next to that floral one and this one's super cool too I think it almost looks like playing cards same kind of texture I don't even know what to call it it's so they're just really cool comment below what you think I should make out of them because I am overwhelmed with possibilities because <laughs> I found this patchwork little balance curtain It'll be perfect to make a little summer top out of. I also found this gingham one. Just look at the detail. Adorable. I think it'd also be really cute as like a little summer top with a detail along the bottom or even as a cute little skirt. I found this beautiful picture frame as well. And if you can't see behind me, picture frames is just one of those things that I'm always picking up no matter what. This one has, I think they're pansies, I wanna say, along the edge super sweet note on the back from whoever made this and it says memories of what used to be dreams of all the possibilities the roads lead back to you and me and our initials in a tree i hope this always reminds you of us and how much we have meant to each other i loved you then and i love you now cute that's our haul <laughs> time of it was a lot plus what my sister was getting rid of like i need more stuff Comment below if you're a thrifter and what your best find has been recently. And stay strange, but don't be a stranger. And I can't wait to see you next time. I don't need more stuff. Why do your feet smell like Fritos?